And we are joined by Andrew West. He is the CEO of the Canadian Society of Respiratory Therapists. Thanks for being with us on your morning. Good morning, Emery. Thanks for having me. We know the federal government has ordered 5,000 ventilators. Is it enough? And where will they come from? Um, well, I, I, I would uh, say at, in the first instance, we have approximately 5,000 ventilators in, on site in hospitals across Canada. That is actually the normal stock that exists uh, in hospitals across Canada. So we know that those numbers are the appropriate number to manage a normal caseload through a normal year, um, which includes, of course, seasonal variation for things such as the flu. Um, what we're unclear of at this point in time is uh, if there is a surge, and of course, we're expecting there to be a surge in, in patient load uh, based on, uh, because of the COVID-19 crisis, um, we're not certain how how um, how large that uh, surge will be. So um, we know that there are stockpiles in existence um, based on learnings from our experiences in the SARS and H1N1 um, pandemic. Uh, in the past, we have um, um, implemented local and, and provincial uh, pandemic plans that include additional stockpiles of ventilators. So those are in on site already and our um you know what we have heard so far is that those have not been tapped into so those remain available to assist with surges as well as the uh, federal stockpiles that are already in place and ready to be deployed anywhere across the country within 24 hours so there's substantial stockpiles um, ready to be moved and brought into place should they be needed and like i said we anticipate they will at some time you know um, people are watching the news and they hear you know the new york governor is ordering it says they need 30,000 uh, ventilators and, you know, doing interviews with doctors and with people in Italy who said that was the pressing need in hospitals is they were having to make choices of they have one respirator, two patients who need it and having to make a life or death decision. Are we anywhere near that? So what we're hearing from respiratory therapists across the country, and of course, respiratory therapists are the frontline providers of care um, for patients with uh, with ventilators or requiring ventilators. We're not hearing that we're at that point now, um, for sure. We're certainly understanding that healthcare workers are um, are very busy, uh, and that ICUs are. We're hearing reading reports that ICUs are starting to fill up, um, but we have not been hearing from them that they're at that point yet. And like I said, there are still stockpiles um, waiting uh, should they need be needed to be to be deployed um, that haven't been needed to be accessed at this point all right Andrew West we're going to continue to check in with you as the need increases here across the country thanks for joining us this morning thank you very much